Oh. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> So what's up guys, welcome to another video. So guys, today we are making... Dromboli. I thought we were making calzone. Nope. So guys, this is our ingredients. We got pizza sauce, we got this stuff, whatever, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. We got, we, got we, got <laughs> we got mozzarella cheese, we got Italian seasoning stuff. We got two bowls, we got garlic, we get a bell pepper, we get beef, and we get butter. So yeah. So yeah. So guys, the first step we'll need to do is to take this bell pepper and cut it up with this pan. Why isn't there a pan there? Oh, wait, I got an idea. See, it always works. So guys, Caleb, you can come back and frame. Oh, okay, that's good. We're gonna chop this bell pepper up. I think I'm gonna use just half of it. So Don, if you can speed this up a little bit, that'd be nice. Okay guys, so now that I got it nice and chopped up, I'm going to mix this with the beef that's right there. So, yeah. Okay, so guys, we're just gonna take a little bit of um, virgin olive oil. Not too much. So what we're gonna wanna do is scatter it around the... So the next step to this is the beef. Just drop it in really gracefully like that, and <clears throat> you're just gonna wanna chop it up a little bit. Okay, so guys, while this is heating up on medium, I'm actually going to take a second, and so I'm just gonna take a little bit of bourbon. This isn't important, but I like to put bourbon in all my beef, and I do have it covered up because this company's not sponsoring us, so why give them free advertisement? It's gonna pour a little bit in there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of cilantro. And I'm just gonna put this in the beef itself. Sprinkle it in there. Then I'm gonna take some salt and mix it in with the bourbon. Add some water. And then I'm gonna add a couple drops of soy sauce. Not a lot though. And the last step to this is putting a little bit of garlic on the beef itself. And once it's sizzling, I'll add the mixture of stuff. And pretty simple, you just gotta chop this up more. Make sure it's all spread evenly. So guys, the next part is pretty simple. We're gonna make a simple garlic butter sauce stuff. So guys, now that we got our butter melted, we're gonna move the bread aside. By the way, there's our bread. And I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic and a little bit of Italian's. <laughs> well, this is, this is the whole, ow, ow. <laughs> Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, thanks, Don. It's really hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna take our bread and we're gonna open her up and we're going to slather this stuff all around the bread. And this is a, a cake icing spreader thingy, but we don't have a brush or anything like that, so we gotta make do with what we have.
So now guys, we are going to preheat the oven to 300. And when that's heated, we'll pop the stromboli in and we'll cook it for 10 minutes. But we will periodically check on it because it is not raw, or bread? Raw bread? Is that how you say it? I don't even it's not dough. Anymore. It's already cooked bread, so we're just heating everything up together because everything is fully cooked. And to give the bread that nice golden glow. So yeah. Okay guys, so now that we got everything finished, you want to take a little shot around it, you know, the, taking the beauty of this amazing stromboli. So guys, now I'm not in focus. So go. Hello? There we go. Okay, so now Caleb is going to do the honors of putting it inside of this thing. And guys, we are ready to eat. So guys, this is our beautiful creation. So basically what I'm gonna do is, this is really hot, but I'm gonna flip it on top of that. There's nothing holding this together. There we go. So guys, that is how you make a stromboli with bread, that is. This isn't the proper way to make a stromboli, however, we made do with what we have. So guys, this is how you make the most amazing Lunchables. So guys, Thanks for watching, all that stuff. The uh, Stromboli is actually amazing, and we had a bunch of people say it was amazing too, so I guess that means it was amazing. So yeah, thanks for watching, goodbye. Oh, subscribe, and... It won't focus. Oh, and subscribe, and well, that's it, goodbye.